everyone so today's the last day of trying to get the weed in the ground uh, we've been fighting the weather plus equipment plus everything for the last week we started uh, Tuesday and today's Saturday we're putting about a putting weed in here in this uh, 68 acre part of the field on a pivot so and uh, yeah it, it's just we had some high winds during the week I tried to put the camera on a tractor it kept blowing off and ran over the camera a couple times thank God I didn't break it so so hopefully it's a calm day it was a little cold this morning I think it was 18 degrees when I came out here about seven eight o'clock try to get everything going I'm moving our pivot over there for the neighbor because he's got about 40 acres in our pit and our we should he shares with us and uh I got to get it out of the way so he can uh get in there and harvest this corn and plus I want to bring it around because we got corn over there on the other side this old barley patch that was not, didn't do anything so we got corn over there We're bringing the pivot around and then once I get it around and he harvests a little bit up his uh, corn field I'm gonna hook up the pump to the motor and start irrigating this uh, wheat field I want to get the moisture on that seed we were supposed to have some snow but it got out of the forecast so we're gonna put about a maybe an inch in we got some warm weather I think it's supposed to get in the high in the 50s this week and maybe a low in the 30s but seed germination is 35 degrees so hopefully we'll get some moisture on that seed so it can start germinating and we'll start seeing a little bit of wheat coming up before it goes into dormant a little something we're doing different this year is uh, bumping up our population last year we put out 90 pounds in an acre just to try it out and now we're trying it to 135 so we'll see how that works out uh, just using the same variety as we did last year this is a Redfield variety it worked very well with us we were very pleased with it we are not putting any fertilizer out this year this you know as we're planting we're gonna actually put the fertilizer out when it comes out of dormant we're going to actually spoon feed it because last year we put fertilizer out on it one time right when it came into um, boot stage and our fertilizer leached out because we had a lot of rain and plus we were irrigating so we didn't get the quite the yields we wanted I think the lower part of the field that we were at last year it got about 60 70 bushels and then up on the higher area it got maybe about 40 so we're hoping to put that in in the spring spoon feed it so probably get a better yields and probably bring up our protein a little bit so uh yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video we're gonna try to do as much as we can we have about another five acres to finish up and then we'll be done and then I'll go back to finish harvesting beans and then off to harvesting corn so enjoy